हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट्सएप सो लेट इस कंटिन्यू डिस्कसिंग फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स दिस इज़ द ट्वेल्थ वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन एंड वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग द डेट सिक्योरिटीज़ और द बॉन्ड मार्केट्स इन इंडिया फ्रॉम द लास्ट टू थ्री वीडियोस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स ओके सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल विल डिस्कस अबाउट द म्यूनसिपल बॉन्ड्स एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल डिस्कस अदर काइंड ऑफ बॉन्ड्स ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट so municipal bonds as i have already told you they are issued by municipalities or municipal corporations or other state agencies on behalf of the municipalities okay so they can be issued by municipalities or municipal corporations directly or by the state agencies okay on behalf of municipality or municipal corporations but they are for the work in urban areas okay if they are issued by state agencies they are called municipal bonds only if they are issued for different kinds of works in urban areas meaning cities okay urban areas means cities so the works can be to build schools for different uh, buildings water supply okay uh, sewer system meaning drainage system etc so in urban areas these are some of the important things okay roads bridges uh, drainage system water supply systems buildings schools also repair and maintenance etc okay so these are the different works which can be done by issuing bonds now there are two types of municipal bonds okay so the first one is called revenue bonds and the second one is called general obligation bonds just try to understand the difference between them okay revenue bonds are the bonds which are issued to finance new income generating projects okay income generating meaning they are revenue generating that's why they are known as revenue bonds so whatever work will be done from these bonds they have to be new projects okay they have to be new projects uh, and they should be income generating for example water supply system okay if a municipality or a municipal corporation it is developing a water new water supply system and from this water supply people are going to pay the water tax or user fee or okay water tax or user fee to the municipality then it will generate revenue for the municipality so this is a revenue generating or income generating activity another example is that a municipality is uh, is constructing an auditorium okay it is constructing an auditorium and this auditorium now can be given on rent for different purposes to public or institutions and this rent is a income of the municipality so these are done to finance income generating new projects another type of bond are general obligation bonds so general obligation bonds are not for any specific revenue generating projects okay they are not for any specific revenue generating projects they can be for repair and maintenance they can be for new projects also but it is not necessary that they are for revenue generating activities and the obligations are made through taxation or other project revenue so other income of municipality for example it gets uh, income from different kinds of taxation okay it it uh, imposes taxes on trade so there are trade license taxes and so many different user fees and then there may be other projects of municipality going on so whatever income they are getting from other projects so that income will be used to meet the obligations of these bonds okay that's why they are known as general obligation so they are not for any specific revenue generating project but they can they are the general now the revenue bonds they can be issued to both public as well as private placement okay public meaning the general public aam aadmi okay private placement meaning issued to a private company a big company okay like for example any big investor any nbfc so they can be they are known as private placement private placement meaning they are not issued in a common they are not issued in a general market in an open market to all the people but they are given to some specific companies a specific big financial companies or you know big companies so they are known as private placements whereas general obligation bonds can be issued only for private placement not to the general public so this is very important so general public can invest only in revenue bonds of municipality so this is very important now let us look at the history of municipal bonds in india when it was started okay first time so the first time municipal bonds in india was issued by bengaluru municipal corporation okay in 1997 so this is the beginning of municipal bonds in india those bonds were of worth 125 crores and they were issued for constructing city roads and drains okay they were issued for city roads and drains and the state of karnataka the state government of karnataka had given a guarantee of this bond 
so the uh, the bonds were guaranteed by the state guaranteed meaning in case the bengaluru municipal corporation fails to pay back these bonds the state government will pay it will pay the bond so this is known as state guarantee okay so that you have to keep this in mind that municipal bonds were first issued by bengaluru municipal corporation in 1997 it was worth 125 crores and it was done to uh, make city roads and drains then the second uh, after this it was issued in 1998 by ahmedabad municipal corporation of 100 crores for water supply and sewerage system okay and it was without state guarantee so this is important it was 100 crore in 1998 then after that in 1999 nasik in maharashtra nasik municipal corporation and ludhiana in punjab they had issued again of 100 crore nasik had issued of 100 crore and ludhiana issued of 10 crores okay and they were also without state guarantee and they were again for water supply and sewerage okay so like this there is a big history there, there is a long list okay the entire list you can see in the link provided in the description i have provided one link in the description of this video you can click on that link and you can go to uh, that link there a pdf will open and in that you can see the history of bonds uh, municipal bonds in india in this link when you open this link you will see that you know in the end you will also see that two state agencies have also issued municipal bonds and those two state agencies are tamil nadu water and sanitation pool fund and karnataka water and sanitation pool fund again it is for water and sanitation purpose but they are issued by the state government state agencies tamil nadu and karnataka so a question can come you know uh, tamil nadu and karnataka are the two states which have issued municipal bonds okay for uh, you know different purposes and they are the only state agencies till now to have issued municipal bonds municipal bonds are also known as muni bonds okay muni bonds this is just a short form for municipality and both are guaranteed by us aid okay the both up now the since they have issued by state government so naturally state government is obligated to pay but somebody else should take the guarantee so the us aid has taken the guarantee of this bond so it is they are guaranteed by us aid now in 2015 sebi the securities and exchange board of india they issued a guideline for issuance of municipal bond okay till 2015 uh, there was no strict guideline specially for municipal bonds but in 2015 recently like just 6 7 years ago sebi has issued guidelines okay again uh, you know you have to see the same link uh, in the description for details of these guidelines but some important points i will mention here so the sebi guidelines mentions that the municipal bond the minimum tenure has to be 3 years okay it has to be of minimum maturity of 3 years then if it is done for any new project any specific project then so for example if the project is of 100 crore then the municipality has to have 20% self funding of the project so 20 crores have to be the self fund of the municipality or funding from other source and the remaining 80% can be issued as bonds so that is important the minimum subscription of this bond should be 75% for example if the municipality has uh, openly uh, you know issued this bond in the market uh, for example if the bond is of 100 crores now the people should subscribe to this bond meaning they should buy this bonds if the bonds which are issued in the market if you know the bond that municipality is able to sell only 70 crores of bonds okay iske baad mein koi khareed nahi raha nobody is buying it so it is not 75% so this 70 crore also it has to return back to its investors so it cannot uh, you know uh, issue bonds if it is less than 75% minimum subscription should be 75% now what this subscription shows this subscription shows the trust of the people in that municipality okay if the people are investing if the people are subscribing to the bonds it means you know they are trusting those bonds so the minimum trust should be 75% 75% subscription should be their minimum now second thing is uh, another thing is that there should be minimum one a plus rating by a recognized credit rating agency so at least one rating should be a plus meaning high quality high quality rating and the municipality or municipal corporation should not be a negative net worth municipal body for last 3 financial years so for example if the bond is getting issued in 2020 23 in the last 3 financial years that is you know 2021 22 then 2020 21 and 2019 20 so in this 3 financial year the net worth of municipality should not be negative 
नेट वर्थ मीनिंग वॉट ऑल इट्स एसेट माइनस लाइबिलिटीज शुड नॉट बी निगेटिव लाइबिलिटीज आर द लोन्स एंड डिफरेंट यू नो डिफरेंट लोन्स ऑफ द म्यूनसिपालिटी डिफरेंट ऑब्लिगेशन ऑफ द म्यूनसिपालिटी एंड एसेट्स आर इट्स यू नो डिफरेंट फिजिकल एसेट्स और यू नो रिसीवेबल दैट इट इज गोइंग टू गेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टैक्सेस सो द एसेट माइनस लाइबिलिटी शुड नॉट बी नेगेटिव ओके फॉर द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइडलाइंस देर आर अ फ्यू मोर गाइडलाइन यू कैन सी इन दिस लिंक so this was about municipal bonds okay in the next video we will discuss about other kinds of government bonds thank you